Hey, what's up? This is Maddie from Memphis Mayfire, and you're listening to Louder. So, I'm with Maddie Mullins. Yeah. Of Memphis Mayfire. That's right. Tired. Very tired. After a long flight. Notorious Red Eye. Yeah. But you're here. We are here, and we're ready to rock, man. Is it your, what, third slam dunk already? I think it's our fourth. I, maybe third. I don't know. But these candies are great. <laughs> Is it your first thing eating today? <laughs> It's, uh, it's my second thing, but definitely not my healthiest. I'm, I'm, I back it, though. <laughs> Are you guys already comparing Slam Dunk and Warp Tour? Is it already almost the same? Um, in amounts of time that we played? Yeah, yeah, this will be our fourth year on, on, uh, on Warp Tour as well. But does it feel the same, the number of bands, the fans, the organization? No, they're two very different festivals. Um, they each have very eclectic vibes that kind of make them special and individual in their own ways, you know? Um, but we love, we love both. Like, we love the vibe here, we love the vibe there, and it's just kind of cool to be able to do both, you know? And I don't know if you remember, but the last time you were in Birmingham, I actually saw you getting kebab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really weird. It was like just seeing someone that you heard about doing that so many times, yet <laughs> now you see him doing yeah. that. So it's just a very humbling moment just seeing... Yeah, we love yeah. kebab. We love it, and we eat it as often as possible when we're over here. Because, I mean, like... Nobody really does that in America, you know? You have nothing similar. There's like similar-ish, but not anything like what it is over here. So at home it's just Mexican. We love Mexican food, <laughs> yeah. So did you have any moment that you saw your idol doing something really human-like? That's a great question. Um, Or even some, some moment that just broke your heart when you saw your idol doing something really mean? Well, I mean, not necessarily an idol, but I did peace... I, did, I, I peed next to Keith Urban at a urinal, and it was hilarious because he's super short. You don't notice it until you're next to him in real life, and you're like, whoa. Because we all live in Nashville, which is like the hub of Christian music, or country music, so it's like, you know, it's it, you see people like that all the time, you know. You'll see, you know, a, a, everybody just out and about. It's crazy. So did you glance over? No. <laughs> no no, no way. No way, he probably had a security guard ready to lay someone out. And talking about kebabs, is there any chance you're ever going to go vegan? Nope. Never? No, I do love meat. Okay. Yeah. And what's the best festival food you ever had? Um, the catering here at Slam Dunk is actually pretty phenomenal. Uh, Warp Tour Catering is also really great. They have a catering company that travels the entire summer called Tada, and they're great. Um... Soundwave in Australia. You know what? All festivals have like really great catering. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, just on the road, which is difficult. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, House of Blues is a there's a is a venue in America that which there's one? like multiple of them. You know, they all have the same menu and they all do catering from their menu and it's awesome too. Okay. And sometimes you even have interviews, not like me. They yeah. Actually, bring you food and then you compete <laughs> against each other. Yeah. <laughs> I think you lost the weekend as Romans guys over a humongous taco. Oh my gosh, the burrito the contest. Burrito. That was so tough, man. Um, <laughs> You're trying to cheat. Yeah, those boys can eat, those boys can eat a burrito, no doubt. And best toilets or showers around the world, venues. Um, that would probably go to House of Blues as well. Yeah. There's a rumor that your next challenge as a band is to bring Blindside on the road. Is this Dude, something would, you're taking on? I would love to do that. I mean, they just do, like, random fly dates these days, you know? Like, they're older now, and I don't think they're touring as much, but we would love to bring Blindside on tour. We would love, love, love that. How about a collaboration? Yeah, definitely. I think their, their singer is very influential to me, so um, I would love to have him on a record. And I think even the theme... We'll sync. Yeah. I think you're both people of faith. Yeah. So yeah, that would be phenomenal. An inspirational song together. I would love that. Okay. So okay. here's a challenge. By the next time we talk, okay. I'm going to ask for some updates. Oh, uh, you know what? That's great. I will. I will definitely start pushing for that. For some reason, they didn't really make it through to the UK, but I know they had a few years ago um, some sort of a faithful event in, um, in Vegas oh, cool. with Head, oh, Brian cool. Head, yeah. and Flyleaf. Yeah. So in between sets, they had some sort of a preaching session. Oh, cool. But still, all about faith, all about love. And first and last time I've seen them play live. Wow. So if you can do something 
That would be amazing, right? Yeah, I would love to. They just came and played like Dallas and New York City not too long ago. And of course, I was on tour in Europe while that happened. So always happens. Um, but yeah, I would love to. Last time I saw them was on the Great Depression tour, which was like 2008 or something. So. And do you remember where you were when you heard about Chris Cornell recently? Were we already traveling, or no? I was home. I I woke up. I was in bed. I woke up. It was the first thing I saw on my phone. And, and the band, and specifically you, talk about depression and dealing with being alone on the road. Is it something that woke you up even more, said, I need to do more, I need to talk about it more, I need a hug? You know what, I would love to. I'd love to talk about it anytime anyone will ask. Um, the problem is, when you're a public figure and people look up to you, you don't feel like you are able to be open and honest about struggling. You know, because you, you, you feel like you have to be people's rock you have to be what you know the person that they're looking up to so that so that they don't lose hope but it's so poisonous because when we do, when we start to talk about mental health issues and and um, anxiety depression you know it, 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 it that is what starts the healing process because people need to realize they're not alone people don't need people that act like superheroes and act like everything's okay all the time people need people that are going to be open and honest about their struggles and that's what I try to do with our record Unconditional and, and, I, and I love to talk to anybody and everybody that's struggling with it to try to offer whatever kind of hope or advice that I can. And I watched the latest video that's the live and it just gives me shivers. That's just life, yeah. yeah man. Life. And between even some of the band members holding signs yeah. just kind of confessing yeah. that it's not that easy. That's what it's all about, man. Like but being, being nobody's open. talking about it, and it's just taking more and more loss every yeah. single year. Yeah. Uh, either bands are retracting from a tour, some members are leaving, or people are taking their own life, and apparently we're not talking about it enough. Yep, it's not, it's not discussed enough, and it needs to be. Mental health is just as common as phys physical health, I mean, mental illness and physical illness, just as common and just as important to take care of. So, I mean, it's... Um, something that should definitely be discussed more. How about rephrasing the definitions? Mental illness sounds sounds not something that everybody deals with, something like you need to take medication, but it's just talking about it, just embracing it, talking about it more. It's not true. I mean, it, it, you know, a, a mental illness is just like a physical illness. I mean, or, a, you know, some, something that's impaired with your body, whether it be illness you have to take medicine for or something that you have to work on to rehabilitate your leg, if you hurt your leg or whatever. It's the but same thing. It sounds thing. more of a private thing, more of a something that you have to deal with. It. So you take medication, you go to see the doctor instead of talking about it. Yeah, but mental health can be worked on by talking about it, you know? So I, I think that one of the greatest forms of medication is just talking about it, you know? And I think that... Um, mental illness is common and people don't admit that enough and um, I struggle with anxiety and depression and I had to fight through it and I did counseling and I tried medication and I did a lot of things before it actually started to get better and so I'm always happy to talk about it and another uh, dark side of the music scene right now is the attacks yeah um, does it affect your judgment or are you walking on stage scared no, I mean, you can't live in fear. You know what I mean? It's like, if that's how you go, that's how you go. You know, but it's just, um, it's awful. It's awful. I know that it's it's making people's parents that are dropping them off at concerts like be like, you know, well, you're not going to go because I don't want this kind of thing to happen to you. And you can't blame parents for that. But, you know, for me, it's like, life is so short and fragile anyways, man. Like, just, you know, we're, we're going to not live in fear. Just enjoy what we have. And the connotation of those violent acts to faith, does it affect your faith? Do you want to talk about faith more or less? Do people talk about faith more or less to you? Do you know, different faith approach you? The terrorist attacks have never affected the way that I express my faith or talk about my faith or how much I talk about my faith because it's just so different, you know, um, than, than what these, these terrorists are, are proclaiming and claiming to be the reason for their attacks. Um, but, yeah, I think that... Um, I think it's awful. I think it's disgusting. It's awful, and um, it's 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 sad. It's very sad. Does it make you talk about other faiths? Because I know that Islam is associated, mm. unfortunately, with those attacks. And right. Th those attacks are associated, unfortunately, with Islam, which is not the core value. Yeah. Of that belief. But right. I feel like people are not talking about it enough. It does need to be talked about, and I don't. 
And it, and it sucks when people judge the Islamic people just because some Islamic people are, you, you know, doing these terrorist attacks. It's important to realize that that's, it's not the, that, that entire religion or that entire group of people. It's just certain people. Um, so it's tough, you know. I mean, it's, it's, it, it sucks. It sucks that people are doing that, and it's something that we even have to think about or talk about. But I'm, I think it should be discussed more. Yeah. Okay, and I have another question about your beliefs. Okay. How come you don't believe in UFOs? <laughs> Man, I just think that, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, God is so incredibly big and so powerful. Creator of the stars, creator of the universe, creator of the human body, which is incredible, right? I mean, every little thing about our bodies that even the eyeball is more technical than a computer. You know what I mean? Just a single part of the body. I think that God is a master craftsman, an artist, one of a kind. And... Um, I think that the galaxies and the stars and everything surrounding the earth is just evidence of how much he loves us because we're just specks of dust in the grand scheme of things. But I think that that's just evidence of how much he loves humanity and earth. And, um, but I don't know, but that's an opinion, you know what I mean? It'd be cool to meet an alien if they do exist. Okay, so if there are any aliens listening, <laughs> come, to, come, to show. come on out. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's Mary, great. anything else you want to add to friends and listeners? No, that's great. Thanks for asking me cool questions, man. That was awesome. Okay, thank you very much.